Hey, welcome again, Jay Nicholas, uh, for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm going to tie a carp fly. Uh, this is an improved carp it bomb. Carpet bomb. Um, the, 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 I'm going to get started and then I'll ramble, okay? Here we, here we go. So this is sort of what it's going to look like, I think, I hope. So for a hook, the thing that's, it's, it's really kind of fascinating. I've been watching a zillion videos on YouTube uh, carp flies. This is a TMC uh, 800S size 8 barbless. We're going to be releasing these carp, most likely. Uh, so let's make it easier on that. Uh, the diversity in carp flies is just astounding and it, it really seems like uh, people develop patterns for their own individual waters. This is fine black barred marabou. They're fishing tans, they're fishing olives, they're fishing um, I guess tan and olive. A crawdad color is really a good one. Um, sometimes they're tying carp flies to imitate food. Sometimes they're tying carp flies um, to imitate grass. There's some by the. This is a chicones crusher leg in regular size and you'll find you know in the regular size some of them are actually different sizes on the same chunk but these are pretty cool this is like a, you got all kinds of color choices this is a fluorescent orange and clear got these in the back of the fly and I'm going to bend these around the bend just a little bit. And then see if they still, yeah, they still separate quite nicely. Okay, I'm going to tie my eyes now because I forgot to do it earlier. These are, um, these chocolates or chicones? Chocolates. Somebody's uh, starts with a C. Stealth chain. Chicone. Chicone. Yep. Chicones. Stealth chain. Uh, this is an olive grass color. They've got a tan, they've got a beige, they've got a black. These are really nicely finished and it gives you a different option than your regular old um, silver gold black. So this fly is going to sit like this as it sinks. Uh, that's why you you tilt the tail down because it's going to ride like this and then the tail will be coming up. So now I've got, I'm going to use some, let's see, what kind of dubbing might I use? Oh gosh, there's this stuff called carp dub. It would seem to just be unreasonable to not use carp dub on a carp fly. Uh, so I'm actually going to mix a couple colors here just a little bit. It's, it's all very cool. I will say, however, that man, sometimes those rubber legs behave and sometimes they don't. And I just, uh, I'm, I, I don't worry about it too much. They got really nice colors. It's shaggy. Um, but my rubber leg consistency is fairly weak, as is my ability to gauge how much of this stuff I ought to be putting in here. But let's, let's try this. Let's spin it up and see just how good or bad it happens to be. 